how can we just oppose... Um, These young men and women have been recognized for having a big positive impact on their communities. And organizers of the African Youth Summit say they hope the youths will return home to inspire others to do the same. Gabriela Yega, who co-founded the Global Changemakers Organization, says about 1,250 young people have been selected since the organization was launched 15 years ago. They are given training, mentorship, networking opportunities and funding. Personally, I believe that uh, the grassroots work these young people are doing is immensely important, not only in, the, in terms of the results that the project itself is having, but also to show other young people that it's important to become active, that they can have an impact in their communities. Lucanio Sonyamba of South Africa is one of the new global change makers, selected from almost 5,000 entrants. Already an advisor to his government's children's commissioner, Sonyamba is hoping this new distinction will further his mission to help young people bridge intergenerational challenges in the workplace. There's many instances where I've actually had to speak with my uh, like other co-workers and try to find that middle ground where we actually come to a consensus like, OK, I know that I'm younger than you uh, and you're older than me and you've been doing this quite for a long time. Uh, but when you are wrong, I will address you in this manner, respectfully, and when I'm wrong, address me respectfully. Becoming a global change maker in 2016 has made a massive difference to nutrition advocate Maureen Mukhesa of Kenya, who's at the summit as a facilitator. She founded Tule Viema, which is Swahili for Let's Eat Right. It encourages young women to cultivate indigenous gardens for their household consumption and sell the surplus. So far, Mukhesa has reached 900 households. Global Change Makers has equipped me with the necessary skills um, in terms of how to, to, to do fundraising, but also how to do proposal writing. For the first time this year, Atia Kafia, an organization in South Africa that traditionally promotes the Afrikaans' language and culture, partnered with Global Change Makers. Atia Kafia's managing director, Sanal Britt, says they hosted the summit at one of their holiday resorts called Houdini Spa, and will provide funding for some of the projects of the South African participants. Brit says during the four-day summit from October 17th to 20th, the new global changemakers learned skills and listened to panel discussions and lectures on a range of topics including tech, politics and finance. What happens for them after this is that they have the opportunity to actually write business plans, to submit their proposals and to obtain possible funding to implement all of these projects in their communities. Obviously, um, when, when you have funding coming in, you also have a responsibility to report back and we look forward to the results that they will achieve. Global Changemakers is looking for partners to host next year's summit in Mexico for Latin America and the Latin community in North America. It will be hosted in Spanish for the first time. Vicky Stark, VOA News, Cape Town, South Africa.